Over the past few years, I've been doing a PhD at the Australian National University in astronomy or astrophysics. And over those years, I've had the opportunity to talk to quite a wide variety of people. And it's always interesting after I tell them that I'm an astronomer, judging what they think it is I do. You see, for the most part, people have rather strong misconceptions about what astronomers actually do. In your head, you may think, as an astronomer, I must stay up during the night uh, at some telescope on some mountain taking observations, either with my eye or with some instrument attached to the back of the telescope. Well, the reality is, or at least for most astronomers, this is quite far from the truth. You see, professional astronomers are quite detached from the telescopes they may be using. In general, astronomers stay up during the daytime and sleep through the night. So we're just like you, ordinary people. We sleep when you sleep. So what is it that we do if we're up through the day and we can't obviously observe the stars during the daytime? Well, you see, astronomers spend most of their time doing computer programming. You see, these big telescopes that are scattered across the world, they take observations with detectors, be it something like a camera or something more complex like a spectrograph that splits the light up into a rainbow. So these big telescopes collect some data for you if you're successful in a proposal. And then you have this problem of you have lots of data that you need to analyze. So astronomers spend most of their time using computers to try and understand the data that they've got from these big telescopes. See, for the past couple of months, I've been working on analyzing data from the Kepler Space Telescope. So that's a telescope NASA put into space far away from the Earth, and it's been observing patches of sky over the course of several years. I want to try and analyze the data that Kepler's gathered, so that means I need to do lots of computer programming. And here's a snippet of some of my code. So we all use computers, and we're all programmers. Only very rarely do we get up and observe during the night. And to get time to observe on a telescope is generally quite a big procedure. You see, there are lots of astronomers all across the world. And there are, in fact, more astronomers wanting to do things on telescopes than there are telescopes. So this means that you need to write applications, proposals, to use these big telescopes across the world. These applications can take quite some time to write and more often than not, they turn out to be unsuccessful because there are just so many applications going in. Fortunately for me, I've had a few successful applications, which has meant that I've gotten to observe with some very large telescopes indeed. So last year, I in fact got to go to Hawaii to observe with one of the Keck telescopes. That in itself was a very interesting adventure. But the data I gathered from just half a night of observing with the Keck telescope takes quite some time to analyze to work out what the data is actually telling us. So if you ever see an astronomer, don't think that they stay up during the night. They, in fact, almost never stay up during the night. And if you're ever wondering about the distinction between an astronomer and an astrophysicist, it can be summarized in this little joke that astronomers say to one another. If someone sits next to you and starts talking to you, and you want to keep talking to them, you tell them you're an astronomer. If you just don't want to talk to them anymore, you tell them you're an astrophysicist. So if you have any questions about what it's like to do a PhD, or in particular a PhD in astronomy, leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer them.